guys it's currently four o'clock in the morning and we're off out today we're doing two locations uh, first one being Stover National Wildlife Park in Newton Abbott the second one we haven't quite decided yet so we're going to discuss that for the day and I'll fill you in on the second location as soon as I know where it is um, it, the weather it's it's cloudy uh, there are a few breaks but there is a bit of misty rain uh, which I can feel at the moment. I don't know if it's on the lens or not, but we do have wet weather gear, um, lens covers, trousers, and you know, all waterproof bags and stuff like that, so we're not overly worried about that. Um, I stayed up last night. I gave all my camera gear a good clean off, gave it all wiped off all the lenses, all the camera itself. Um, I discovered a couple of new features on my camera, which I didn't know I had as well, which was uh, face tracking and uh, subject tracking. Now, I don't know if it's working or not if I'm completely in focus if I am then I know it's working um, so yeah I'm just waiting for my photography buddy to get here and uh, we're good to go I'm all packed up got food for the day and everything else as, as I always do so uh, come join me So we're here, we're at Stover National Park in Nunaban, as I said, just sitting down in the bird hide, having a cup of coffee, and uh, notice out across the water there that the great crested grebes that we photographed a couple months back have actually had a brood of young, and there's quite a few young um, juvenile great crested grebe out there in the water, so I'll definitely be getting some footage of those today for you, and some, some photos if I can as well. Um, they're not too far out from us at the moment, from where we're sitting in the bird hide, we can, they're just in front of us, but it's still quite too dark, and the, the, the footage and the videos would just be absolutely terrible at the moment, so I'm going to wait till it brightens up a little bit, get some decent footage of it for you guys. We've walked around um, to the side where the herons normally sit in, but he's not there this morning, and the bushes have grown uh, quite wild over there, you can't really see out onto the river, which we're a bit good about. But um, if you can hear that cheeping over there, there are thousands of more hens here. Absolutely thousands. Babies, grown ups, there's loads. Same as mallards. There's, there's so much swimming around on the lake at the moment. Um, so today should be a good day. Stover never lets us down. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to have a cup of coffee, finish this off, and then uh, have a wander around. So, see you in a bit.
Okay then guys, so we've been around the lake about twice now I think um, and we've actually seen that the, the grebes out there have had some babies, there's about two or three babies out there uh, and I managed to get some amazing footage, I got footage of the parent grebe uh, giving one of the baby ones a fish so um, we've seen some nut hatches and things like the ordinary stuff uh, put the bird feeder, I've got some bird feeder footage for you guys as well, like all the different birds that keep coming in and out um, there's a robin there, I think it's a juvenile because it's missing some of the feathers off the top of its head. Um, so I've got, I've got a couple of photos of that guy. Um, as we've seen a tree creeper, but no photos yet, but I'm going to keep trying. We're going to go around one more time, I think, before we head to a uh, second location, um, see what we can find. Uh, what else we have? The female mandarin ducks that are down there. We've got some really nice photos of them this morning as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's been a little bit dead um, bird wise isn't it but there's not been really not been really much of anything out and about um, other than the, the greaves as I said and a few other things but we've seen the heron flying around but um, no photos of him standing still unfortunately just just flying about a bit um, so yeah like I said we're just gonna sit down now we're gonna have some stew made by the wonderful <laughs> LDB photography so going to really enjoy talking to that in a second. Um, so yeah, so as I said, we're going to sit down now, have some food, head around again, see what we can get. Wish us luck and I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, you know, guys, so we've left over a little while ago. We've come down here to Bobby Heath Nature Reserve. Um, it's pretty much it's like open barren lands, really, just like kind of like the moors almost. Um, we've come to this little, we found this little pond here. Um, Try to photograph there were some big dragonflies flying around, some darter dragonflies flying around earlier on. Um, but also some uh, linnets and some stone chats, things like that, been coming down to the water as well. And in amongst the trees around the edge, so we've been photographing them up there. So we've got some really nice photos of them. I've got some nice footage of the stone chat just up in the just up in the trees there. So it's a pretty good place. It's it's warm. It's, we're right out in the middle of nowhere, so it's like the the heat is really bearing down on us. Believe it or not, with these cloudy weather, it's really it's really hot today. Um, but there's been all sorts of stuff buzzing around here. All kinds of little butterflies and dragonflies. City for a little longer, um, have a bit bite to eat, and then I think we're gonna call it a day. So, thanks again for watching. I really hope you guys enjoy the pictures and the footage that, I'll, that I'm gonna be posted on this video for you guys. And uh, yeah, so I'll catch you all later, and I'll see you in the next one. One, two, three, and.